All right, I'm back, guys. I've been gone for a week out there. <laughs> breakfast no. this is not the proper attire oh. jungle attire this but I'm it's a little bit chilly in the morning so I didn't realize we got nice cold showers it's chocolate I mean for me anyways it was really nice hearing um, all the rain it rained the entire night and all the little chirpers and stuff at night I like that because I like the white noise type of thing. It was very, very, very moist. But waking up to all the animal sounds, I really like that. So there's a way that they make their coffee here, and I've never seen it before. I thought it was interesting. It's, it's really black, dark coffee in this thing, and then you add hot water to it. Smells bad, like burnt. I, I tried that one yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it. I mean, it's coffee. It's, it tastes burnt, but maybe that's the point of it. I don't know. It's uh, about the experience. I tell them that we have the local just a lot of people take a lot of coca leaves here. Uh, our tour guide takes like 20. We took four when we first got here. I thought that was a lot. But he takes 20 and then also mixes it into the coffee. I'm like, okay. That's level, that is the next level. We are going to go on a boat now. That's all I really know. Let's go. <laughs> How do you call it? Granadilla. Granadilla. And this is the, I don't know if we filmed this before, but it's like, a, yeah, on the inside, it's like a pomegranate, except way sweeter and more delicious. It looks a little weird, but it's really good. I guess you don't have to peel the whole thing. What is that? Nighttime. Tapir. Tapir. Type or it's like a wild cow. We took a boat here to get here and now we're walking through the jungle. We saw a huge group of monkeys. It was just like, there was like probably like a hundred monkeys. We didn't get like a clear shot of one, but there's so many and they're so cute. So I'm very happy. I achieved my goal. This is fun. I could do this. Jane of the jungle. Yeah. Where's my Tarzan? All right. All right, I'm back guys. I've been gone for a week out there. Ah. It's exhilarating. Gotta go. 
wonderful. Yeah, it was, I found what I was looking for out there. My spirit. Jurassic Parky. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is this is what I'm talking about. Does the anaconda ever eat people? No. All right. So now we're gonna go up this tower. It's tower time. My top favorite animals i don't have a favorite but one of them is a capybara and this is actually their natural where they're from this is a capybara i've seen them in japan before but this is where they um, naturally live so it's really cool <sighs> take me out of here take me away let's find tarzan <laughs> Oh, I think he's saying it can swim. Let's put him somewhere where he's safe. I know, I know. He's trying to, he's trying to dig in my hands. There you go. They're safe now. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so. We went through, we got to see a lot of the jungle and it's getting a little more warm, but it was extremely beautiful. It's kind of one of those things where you have to be here to experience everything because there's just a lot, there's a lot of different things going on. These boots, <laughs> let me just say, are incredible. We've been walking through so much mud and water and I don't know, I don't know the brand name, but we get sponsored by them. <laughs> but yeah, so now we're going to go in and get some lunch. But this is, this is what I came for, like seeing the animals in their natural habitat, seeing all the monkeys, which is amazing that we got to, we ran into just a huge cluster of monkeys, seeing all the, the bugs and the birds and the dinosaur noises from the birds, that was amazing. Um, yeah, uh, links below for this tour. I'll put the link and how you can do this if you ever come to Peru. And I highly recommend this one because um, they take you through like the natural route and it's not just like a bunch of talking, it's like you get to do things yourself. So if you want, the links are below. Let's go eat lunch. We get a nice boat ride with lunch prepared. Got some vegetables. Oh, that's a big cauliflower. Oh, well. <laughs> Here we go. Hola. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey guys. Oh, there's another one. Ah. <laughs> Hola. 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 We're in a, a animal sanctuary and we just saw the monkey, which was everything to me. And now this is a tap beach, I think. You can you see it? Ooh.
So finally back, still no electricity. This has been my saving grace. Um, it's only on one percent left just to charge my phone, but I haven't really used my phone because I've had no service at all. So this is the first time I've gone this long without like internet. It's, it's nice. I don't mind it. Like on this trip, like I kind of just am letting everything flow how it's going to because this is very important to me. Um, I've been wanting to stay in the jungle for so long and especially being able to see the monkey today was just everything. Like everything I've wanted to do, I've done now in the jungle like I'm so happy like I got to see all these things that you see on like National Geographic in real life just, especially in the jungle there's just life in every little thing you look at there's so much life not that there isn't anyways but it's just it's beautiful and it feels real there's not a lot of things in life sometimes that feel real but this to me it feels the most real if that makes any sense and just being able to like hold the monkey oh. <laughs> I can't explain like how amazing i was in vietnam before and they had monkeys up there so mean this monkey is just like yeah i got to see a bunch of them in the wild today and i got to see this this monkey and it's the the rescue is really small it's really nice like just had like a few animals there just rehabilitating and then in this trip everything is you know ethical like there's no like it's all seeing this in in real life in the wild like not you know going to some zoo or um seen animals in captivity or anything like that. I really wanted to see this all in real life. Happy news, electricity just turned back up. Yes. This morning I had to put all my makeup on and get ready in the dark. Here. There was some sunshine today, so hopefully that powered enough electricity for the rest of the night. This is my views. I'm very messy, very messy. <laughs> So it is time to eat. What do you say? Is it good? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't um, even help myself. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm like, you're off now. You don't I need can't. to look. You're right. I don't I don't turn off either. <laughs> Tomorrow we have to get up at seven and we're gonna look at the caves. You know, I tra started charging everything. I think a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of things to charge and do. I don't know. I just hit a million on TikTok, so I'm very excited. Um, mm. Gracias. Gracias. Yeah. <laughs> Appetizer soup. Or what do we call it? I love the soup. Caldo. Actually. What? Caldo. Caldo. In Spanish? Yeah. This is nice. They they um they have soya and vegetables. They're really good. Okay. And rice. No, it's okay. No, you can talk. Okay. It, this is just a casual <laughs> vlog. You're allowed to be in it. Okay. Um and fries. All my favorite things. Tomorrow we have a long drive back. The electricity went off again. I guess that means it's time for bed. It's like not even eight o'clock at night but I'm so tired. I've gotten up at like five something in the morning. Um, every morning for the past like four days or something or more. I don't know. Um, so it's just natural to just go to sleep. There's no internet. There's no electricity. What am I meant to do? You know? I'll just sleep. Wash my face. I'm dark. I have my cell phone light. Fortunately, I charged my phone before the electricity went off. It's gonna come back on tomorrow. I don't have my battery because I used to. Morning. It did not rain last night. Um, I think I got some sleep. Had a lot of weird dreams. All packed up. I'll show you today's fit. Probably with ease. No, I didn't. I couldn't charge anything. everyone out there thinking that I consume a lot of caffeine, I don't. It just affects me a lot. 
not in a good way, in a bad way. So that's why I don't like to take too many things because it like makes me crash. Just like anything that, that makes me like, feel good for like an hour, I crash, so I don't do any of that type of stuff. Breakfast time. So for breakfast, I had some coffee and I ate these little bananas. I actually don't normally eat breakfast, so this is perfect. Apparently these ones are sweeter. Mmm. These ones taste different. They're sweeter. Mm. You guys want some? I don't, I'm not gonna eat all. George has. Hans. I'm making a quick stop and I have to pee really bad. But you know, there's not like access to to toilets in the jungle. One thing about this poncho, I have to say, it's great for everything. Like it's, it's my new best friend. You can pee on the ground. I know this sounds weird, but it's, you can pee anywhere. So I'll demonstrate. You go like, you go down like this, and it's all covered. Water, water is deep. Oh, this is getting deep. How'd you cross here? Go! Oh, it's too deep. So we found um, these scorpion spiders. They bite, go only to make you bleed. They don't have any poison. But you're not claustrophobic. <laughs> Insects. I wish I could show you how big it is. That right, into comparison. Do you want to back up? <laughs> Did it really bite? Yeah. There you go. There no? Bite. Oh, All right, put your hand up. <laughs> so that's how big. My hand is, I have long fingers. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. You could probably Huge. cover your whole face. Yeah, if it dumped on you, it would be like. <laughs> <laughs> you have the caves, you have the water, you have the jungle. There's like, if you look at any place, there's just like life everywhere. It's like so much to explore. Almost. If these things were on, it'd be the perfect stick. Perfect size, perfect, perfect everything. I just need to cut these off. This is a, how chocolate is just in its natural form. Like these seeds, it's a fruit. So whenever you eat it, it tastes like fruit. It's under, underneath all the white stuff. And then they dry it out and make cocoa. You wanna try it? In comparison, it's like a grape. <laughs> Tastes like the inside of a grape. It's so good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Mm. I wouldn't expect that. But then they're, they're just in the trees right here. This is the season. Oh, this is the, the season Chocolate for them. Season. Chocolate season. Until April. Okay. Mm. Look at that. It's purple. Mm. Like chocolate is naturally purple. <laughs> Chocolate <Don't> harvest. <laughs> say now. Oh my stomach's starting to hurt. We are now leaving Guadalupe Lodge which has been a really nice stay here. It's very peaceful and we have to take another like eight hour ride back to Cusco which apparently there's protests or something going on so that might delay our trip a bit but if you'd like we will go back through the Andes and to the mountains. It's very very beautiful up there and then We'll get back to Cusco and see what happens. But that's, I don't know, like the, the jungle has been really, really nice. Just, I've learned so much about a bunch of things that I would never know otherwise, like, like how chocolate looks and tastes, stuff like that. So I'm very happy. I, I think I've done everything I wanted to do here, but we're going to load up all of our stuff into this beautiful vehicle, which I'm very impressed by it. Like we have to drive on the dirt road the entire time and there's so many bumps and streams and like, I'm just like car promotion. <laughs> I don't know what kind of car this is. Toyota. Toyota, okay, yeah. It, it, I'm very impressed by how much it handles. It's just like just everywhere. So yeah, we're gonna put all, all the stuff in there and then take the, the long ride back. So come with us to do that.
rare appearance in this video. Oh, I'm still here, guys. <laughs> I just come out for the monkeys these days. <laughs>